Hello and welcome. I'm Martin Tietz, the product manager for TD Mobile. Today I'd like to show you how to use the new barcode scanning feature with native mobile applications. In TD Mobile 2.0, we have created a new system, client system call, called Scan Barcode. To enable barcode scanning, I need to go to the settings ribbon of the IDE and then into the build options and enable a Cordova build, which will allow me to create a native application from this um, HTML5 JavaScript app that I'm creating here. And then I'm going to the layout ribbon, choose to insert a push button here, drop that push button, put a title on that push button like scan barcode and do a double click on the button to go into the code section. Here's the click event is already there now. And now next level I can add scan barcode. And the scan barcode will return a string and that string can be put into a binding, client-side binding on t of a TT Mobile page. So it's very easy. And once at runtime, if the application is deployed on the native device, if a user clicks on that, taps on that button, the device will change into um, photo mode, into the barcode scanner mode and decode that barcode and return the barcode to your application. So that's a very nice feature. Let me open an existing application that I have done. So what I have done here is I've created a barcode that contains an XML string and the XML string contains multiple fields. Some of these are like the product name, SKU, price and currency. And then I have a scan product button here. And if somebody taps on scan product, then the bar a barcode can be scanned. The returned XML string will be analyzed. The data will be put into these fields. And then based on the SKU, I will run a database query to find out what versions do exist for this product that I have scanned. So basically the scan scanning input will be used for the condition of a database query. So let me show you this here, scan product, what I'm doing here on click. Um, I'm doing a scan barcode and you see that I'm writing the return into the QR code binding that is defined on the page. Then I'm put showing the wait icon. Then I have a JavaScript function which decodes the XML and then I invoke an operation that gets the versions from the database. That's all um, programmed and, and here if you want to look at the database operation, it's a data operation without coding, so configured database access using a connection to a Gupta IIS database. The data action is browsed, the data comes back into this um, array of versions and there is a filter field, the prop num number in the database table equals to the product SKU that I have decoded from the scanned barcode. So if you want to look at the JavaScript function I'm using here, what I'm doing there is I am getting the bindings for the product and the QR code, and then I'm putting the XML element product into the S product um, UDV member variable here. And you see the same for SKU, for price and for currency. So a very short and simple JavaScript piece that analyzes the XML string that's coming from the barcode scanner. Now let's go to my application directory. So here I do have my barcode that I will scan from my screen from my screen later that contains the XML string and then I have the app here and the app is already set to be deployed to um, Cordova in this case to Android. Now before I deploy the app to my Android phone let me switch on Chromecast to display the Android phone here on the screen so you can all see that.
And now I'm opening a command box here and tell Cordova to run on Android. So this will compile the application and deploy it on the Android device that you're seeing on the screen here. It's going through all the changes that have been made, com only compiles changes. And if there isn't a lot to compile, it's actually pretty quick now. And now it's installing the application on the Android device. And you see that it's loading now. And here is a native Android application that has the barcode scanning built in that I have coded that you have seen before. Now let me open the barcode that I want to scan here. On the phone, I'm going out to tap on scan product now. And you will see that the barcode is being captured. The JavaScript function to detect the SKU product name and everything has worked. And the database values of the available version for that SKU have been retrieved. So here's how you can create nice Android applications or iOS applications that include native barcode scanning using the built-in camera. TD Mobile offers blazing fast development of native mobile business apps. Use mobile device features like barcode scanning, notifications and more with ease. Deploy your apps to iOS, Android, Windows Phone or Blackberry and other platforms if you like. Download a free trial version from our website, guptatechnologies.com slash tdmobile.